So hey everyone, I'm Steve Connish, and I am going to walk you through the Linux security hardening today with a focus on automated CIS level 1 hardening. So let's get started. So Red Hat offers many different security tools that help you build, secure, and maintain Linux. Uh, these include Image Builder, Satellite, Insights, OpenSCAP, and Ansible Automation, just to name a few. But for this session today, I'm just going to focus on an automated Linux security hardening procedure using the CIS Level 1 standard. The CIS Level 1 benchmarks include several hundred security hardening steps, and I'm going to demonstrate how to harden Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.7 today. So you can acquire a copy of the CIS standard on their website. You'll find it's very well documented and a small script provided with each hardening step. So the first thing we'll do uh, to automate the whole procedure is to install the necessary packages. Then we'll navigate to the Ansible playbooks. And then lastly, we'll run the appropriate playbook to automatically apply the CIS level one hardening steps. So let's run through it. Okay, let's check out the Red Hat release version. You can see we're on RHEL 8.7. So now let's check out the kernel version, and that's a 4.18 kernel. Okay, so let's go ahead and install the necessary packages. So we're going to install the Ansible Core, the SCAP Security Guide, and the RHC Worker Playbook package. Okay, that's completed. Let's go ahead and navigate to the Ansible playbook folder where we'll find the CIS hardening playbooks. Okay, and there they are. Let's uh, do a smaller um, listing so we can just focus on those. So you'll see a bunch of playbooks for RHEL 7 and uh, RHEL 8 as well on the right here. Uh, we're going to focus on just the server uh, playbook, so let's go ahead and apply that using uh, Ansible playbook command. Okay, now this is going to go through several hundred hardening steps at this point, and as you can see, it's moving really fast. I tried to speed it up for you. Uh, so we're going to go about another minute, and you can just watch it step by step here. Okay, it's completed. Okay, that completes the demonstration for today. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.